My name is Tracy J. Patrick, and uh, I'm an employee from Barra University as the Deputy Secretary, also Chair for the Technical Committee on People Living with Disabilities. Basically put, a disability is a mental or physical condition that does not allow an individual to perform the way he would have performed if they didn't have that disability. Now, on realizing that Mbara University could not accept to be left behind, we decided to put in place measures and steps that can help us to at least support these people with disabilities, these people with special needs, both staff and students. Now, since 2009, we have done the following to make sure that the students and staff who have disabilities and, and special needs in Mbarra University are supported. One, we put in place a policy with its guidelines in 2019. In addition to that, we have a focal person in place. We have an office that addresses their needs. We have tried to do what we call reasonable accommodation. And by this, I mean, for example, the new structures we have constructed, we have put ramps. Some of them we have put one of two of our buildings we have put lifts to help them at least be able to move around like any other student or any other staff we have put a budget under cross-cutting issues to support these people we have a work plan so that we have supportive activities for these people with disabilities and special needs. We have made sure that the disabled, that these PWUs have representation in several institutional structures. For example, they are represented at council. We also, within our limited budget, provide some funding, for instance, our students get some funding to enable them. This is in addition to their living out allowance. Some of them we give them a small fund on top of that to support them in their, in their needs. So by doing that, somehow we have improved their situation. But of course, we haven't got where we would want to be. As I have said in our policy, we have already implemented phase one of the policy. We are now entering phase two of the implementation. Now, the challenge is that uh, what we have done is not yet enough as compared to where we would want to be. Reason being that when you talk about challenges, all of us, even those without special needs, have challenges. But for them, they have challenges over and above, which need specific attention. We really need a lot of funding. We have people who have issues of eyesight, they need, for example, glasses to support them. There are people who need other support. You have people who are blind, for example, they need braids. Now, when you get braids, you need to train them to use them. So you need the trainers. You also need to have these people trained and all that needs funding. As I have indicated above, at institutional level, we have started, we have tried. 
And now we need to appeal to other partners, that is government of Uganda. We have local governments, we have NGOs. So we need people to partner with in terms of getting the required funding. We need individuals with the experience. We need materials. We need the funds for materials. We need brails. We need computers. We need programs, computer programs, which, pe who, which people can use and they, they perform as if they have no disabilities. So we need all that type of support. And when we have that, we think that we should be able to put the PWUs at good footing so they are, that they are enabled to be more useful to themselves and to the society. Now, today is the International Day for People with Disabilities. I have already talked about our partners and I want to talk to the people with disabilities. This is a day that was put there to think about you. But I also encourage you to think about yourselves. Don't lose hope. Because we have seen people with disabilities making big achievements and we believe that we can do it. We have committed ourselves, I have already mentioned the policies we have put in place to support you. But you also need to stand firm. You need to know your rights, because if you don't know your rights, you cannot, you cannot say the rights should be observed. So you need to know your rights. You need to know yourselves. You need to know what you need so that even those who have no disabilities can learn from you. Because you, for you, you should know your condition better. And for us, we are encouraging you that yes, you can make it. We shall do the best we can to support you within the available resources. But the, the central point are you, the people with disabilities. When you stand firm, then we have also a good team that we are struggling for. So on behalf of Mbara University of Science and Technology, I wish you happiness on this International Day for People with Disabilities. I also wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year 2024. I thank you.